I fear, my dear men, that with our comedy we will go awry. You, Peckman, should have just kept your mouth shut. If I haven't spoken well, why didn't you take the lead yourself? When we are alone, you have a very busy mouth. But when you're supposed to speak in front of noble people, you stand around as if your mouth were full of butter cookies. If I had kept my mouth shut, that also would have been absolutely embarrassing for us. But you fools, are you that afraid of comedy? How could we not be scared? We've never played a comedy in our whole life. Oh, you are some timid hares. Just follow me. I shall instruct you how to do it. Don't let a little bit of effort scare you off. You will be pleased when afterwards you will be held in higher esteem than the Kunzweifer. Let us now discuss what comedy we shall play. What do you think, Schieffer Barthel? I think, you good men, it would be nice if we perform Adam and Eve, Abel and Cain. Oh, what a farce. Who would then undress and play a naked Eve? We should rather play the chaste Joseph. That's also not possible, since Joseph had 11 brothers, let alone all the other people, and we are only four. How about if we acted out the three men in the burning oven? Because the part with the golden sculpture is rather funny, and our comedy is supposed to be funny. Only the hangman would want to sit in the burning oven, but not me. Because I know how much it hurts if you only burn your finger just a little. How would it be if you sat in a fire? You fool, you don't burn your ass. You could have a painter paint a fire and have the three men sit behind it. Oh, these are farces. If we are supposed to act something, let us act something decent. You know what? Let us play the destruction of Jerusalem. Yes, if we had the two Kunstweifer with us, and if they were the Romans and we were the Jews, they would thoroughly beat us up again. I have no loss to participate in this. No, we should act the wealthy man and poor Lazarus. That would be too sad. And also, who would want to be the rich man who has to sit in hell and suffer such great thirst? Aren't we all rather thirsty brothers? I think it would be best if we played blind man's bluff. You are a fool with your blind man's bluff. The Count would only laugh at us. Me, for my part, I do not know what we shall play or act. Let Pechman decide this for us. He will tell us what we shall act. You good men, we cannot act a better comedy than that of Vashabloy. What's the comedy of Vashabloy? Well, first we shall act how Vashbla travels from Bojonia to Trazubigan, where he falls in love with a maiden. The maiden doesn't like him in the beginning, so Cupido shoots at her. But when Vashbla travels back home, he sees a white horse that is tied up, to which he says, White horse, do you want to come with me? The white horse nods his head, and Vashbla thinks. The horse says yes. Thus he takes it with him. Then Vashbla returns to Trazubigan, and it's apprehended by the bailiff for the horse, horse theft and led to prison. Then the consul have, has him come to the town hall and accuse him of his crime. Vashabal tells how it was. The consul say he'll, he, shall leave the, he, he shall leave the room. That's what Vashabal does, and he never returns. That's the story, and, and that we shall act. Now we shall cast the characters, but above all, we must have pickle herring since no comedy is funny if there is no pickle herring involved. Prologus, as we are but four beer fiddlers, you would not be the worst choice for that. Why not? I shall act foolish enough. I myself would be Vashblail. Fidel Hansel shall be the maiden, Shefeld Bethel the white horse, Black Martin the bailiff. He who has nothing to do shall be the musicians in the comedy. Hey, 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 you, you good man. One person has been forgotten. Who will be Cupido? Who shoots at the maiden? It's true. Hold on, hold on. How, how do we do this? Um, we'll ask Bona to be Cupido. Well, my good men, I shall prepare the comedy. All come to me in two hours, and I shall teach you all your parts. And if we know them properly, and we shall act them in front of the count, I am sure we will not only triumph in this matter, but also earn a decent tip. Now tell me, do you still know who your characters are? Yes, I am Pickle Herring. Me, Vashabla. Me, the maiden. Me, the white horse. And me, the bailiff. Well, I'll fetch Bona and return in due time. 